we had two single mothers. Her husbands were killed uh, the same month in August by gang members. One right outside the school, we live in a gang area, and one in the market. And one has six children, one has four. On the 20th of July, it's been three years since my husband died. I'm left with four little girls. How am I going to survive? I have never worked before to make a living, but God somehow helped me to go forward. My oldest daughter was distraught, saying, how are we going to survive without Dad? How are we going to survive? And we found out there was a young girl, 13 years old, that had been raped at 12 and had a baby, was going home on recess to give uh, uh, breast milk to the baby. And when I went to their home, they were living in horrid conditions in a small black plastic shack and everybody was sick, they didn't have any food and I felt like God said, this is, this is your mission, reach out to them. It's not about the whole community, it's about one by one. I really believe to be religious I help to help the orphans and the widows as it says in the book of James. So we started helping them, we'd take them food baskets, I paid their water bill. I tried to do things that would lift them up. Fifteen days later something happened where we were all kicked out of the neighborhood. But the missionary said, you know what, we're going to do something about this so you guys can have a place to live. And God allowed us to have, on top of everything, a new wooden house in that new community that the missionary started. And God continued to bless me because then I moved from a wooden house to a house made out of cement block. I just thank God because now my daughters are able to go to this private Christian school and they're receiving an education. And then God put in our heart to, to open uh, what we call the chalet or the snack shack and it just gives them an opportunity to sell. We built it for them. We gave them the, the stuff to start with and now they're both making an income of about $200 a month which they can buy food for their children. They can pay their water bill. We sell fruit. We sell pupusas. Those are the two things we sell. The fruit for the kids is a very typical national Salvadorian dish and that helps us a lot. Our cells produce enough to provide us with a salary as well. Maria said, you know what, when the bread man comes by in the afternoon, used to, I couldn't even buy my daughters anything. Now we can have bread and coffee like we like to have. It's really, it's been a life changer for us. And we've kept them out of prostitution. We've kept them from looking for a man to fulfill their needs. God's fulfilling their needs now. I feel like these last three years, they have been three years of pure blessing with my little job that I have here and I've been serving God with all my heart. He's been so good. God has been my comforter and He has been my provider. God has changed me a lot. He's changed me into a person who wants to serve Him. He has changed me and He has brought happiness into my life. Now I'm happy going to church. God's just done a miracle in her life. And we see these little girls and we've saved them from no telling what. And that to me is exciting.